In 1980, when Rabbi Karf and others decided that they needed a new ark for the Gordon Chapel, I was approached and introduced to the architect, looked at the plans for the ark, and came up with a few suggestions of my own. Originally, the ark was a cylindrical form. It was a 42-inch diameter circle that would stand at nine feet tall. When I went back and read a few passages, well, I got descriptions of the acacia and cedars of Lebanon that were used. And so I proposed doing a solid wood piece, which is my preference, and uh, we went from there. The, the main thing I can tell you about it is that it was, in many ways, the hardest and nastiest wood I've ever worked, but it was beautiful, you know, it was gorgeous. It has a lot of a flecking or a change in the way that the grain picks up light, so it becomes very active in places, visually. The temple reached out to me this year. The piece had broken up. Building in solid wood, you're working with a material that continues to move. When I saw the photos of what had happened to it, I was, I was devastated. Went out and tried to assess the situation and really felt pretty good about being able to put it back together. I was thrilled to be able to do it. I was very, very thankful that they called me. Bruce Levy and Michael Jenkins both were great to work with. It was fun to have it back in. I had forgotten some of the details that I'd done on the piece and was pleasantly surprised that I had signed inside uh, the right-hand door, Deathridge, 1980. And this time I took out the chisels that I'd used when I signed it originally and added a 2017 date and also included a letter to the next guy, you know, so that they could have a hint as to what has been done in the past. I was really scared when Harvey hit because we had delivered the ark back to Beth Israel the week before the storm hit. And I knew there were water problems there before and I knew what we were up against. Thankfully, I ran into Bruce and he was able to uh, take me in and very carefully show me, everything works, everything looks good, we're good, you're good. You know? <laughs> I was extremely relieved by that. It was always an important project to me when you're working for a congregation of people. It's difficult, but worth it. The fact that people remember the Ark as part of their upbringing, their family, their life, is pretty special. So to do something that lasts and be brought back will last longer and influence families, that feels great. lot special about it and I think it'll be there for a while.